University of Toledo College of Nursing presents Pain Management. Patient is a 58-year-old female admitted to hospice with breast cancer and met to the bone. I think I need to use the restroom. Oh! Oh! Goodness. Oh. When assessing pain, a verbal pain scale of 0 to 10 should always be used whenever possible. The patient's report is always the best assessment tool. Other factors that should be assessed include location, character, duration, things that exacerbate or alleviate the pain. So how bad is the pain? I mean, where is the pain? Like, in your shin, do you say? over my shin. Okay. Well, is that like an aching, stabbing, or maybe a throbbing pain? Yes, it's throbbing. And is there something that maybe makes it better? Not that I've found. Does this happen often? Maybe like in the morning, maybe at night, maybe just when you get up? It hurts when I try to walk. Okay. Other simple approaches that may be effective include position changes, massage, diversion, music therapy, applications of heat or cold, range of motion, prayer, or guided imagery. Well, since non-pharmacological agents were unsuccessful, let's go ahead and get you some pain meds, okay? Okay. How about some more feet? Sounds good. All right, I'll be right back with that, okay? Okay. Use the oral route whenever possible. The oral route is preferred for easy administration. It is non-invasive, cost-effective, and if available in many forms. Mrs. Valentine, I have your morphine here. So I make sure that you're you. So may I see your patient identifier? If you tell me your name first. Rudy Valentine, February 14th, 1958. Okay, so we have your morphine, and we're going to give you 30 milligrams, and we're going to give it right now, okay? Okay. Right. Here you go. Have a water for you. Fifteen to thirty minutes later, the pain should always be reassessed. Mrs. Valentine, how is your pain now on a scale of zero to ten? I'd say about a zero. Really? Okay. Um, you feeling any changes in your body? Uh, maybe you feel a little more sedated. Maybe some problems with your respiration. A little slower or constipation. I feel a little more. But that's it. Okay. Sounds good. Let me know if you need anything else, okay? Okay. Common side effects that should always be assessed for include constipation, urinary retention, nausea and vomiting, drowsiness, and respiratory depression. Hey. The end. <laughs>